guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we're going to do an acrylic pour on a vase. And the most commonly asked question is how I prep. So first of all, all I do to the glass is I clean it with alcohol. And that's just to get any dust or fingerprints off. And, and I am doing this over a canvas because um, I, then I can use the runoff paint and do a really cool matching painting. So I've cleaned this and this is how I do it on the canvas. I just set it on a cup and then I'm gonna pour down the vase. It's gonna go onto the canvas. So for right now, I'm gonna move this off and I'm gonna fill up the cup with paint. And I commonly get asked how much paint to do the vase. Well, I measure it just based off of the canvas. This is a 12 by 12 canvas, so I'm gonna need pretty much this whole cup of paint. This is a nine ounce cup. And I'm using one of my favorite color combinations, which is just white, blue, yellow, and then a little bit of black. And I'm just going to layer these in here. All of these are Artist Loft Flow Acrylics, and they're mixed with Floetrol and water. Another commonly asked question is, do I change the consistency of my paints uh, based off of the project that I'm doing? And the answer to that is no. I keep the same consistency pretty much no matter what. All right. So that should be good. We're gonna go ahead and move that aside. I'm gonna put this on here. And then we're gonna pour. Now when doing a vase, you can do it as a clean pour as well. So that would be pouring the colors individually on the vase. Um, I love this method though, and it's, it's much easier to get your whole vase covered. Plus it creates a super cool pattern on the canvas itself. All right. So what we do at this stage is we just let it drip and drip down usually for about five minutes or so. Um, once it stops like really dripping, I pick it up by the cup and I move it aside. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part up and we're just gonna let it drip. Okay, so that was less than five minutes, but it's mostly slowed down, so I think we're fine. And so I'm gonna just gently pick it up by the cup and move this aside. Do not worry if you accidentally touch the lip of your vase or anything because it's going to keep moving. So even if you were to accidentally totally mess it up as you moved it, it would be totally fine. <laughs> All right, now we do the canvas. And this is going to create just some awesome matching home decor. Uh, and doing it this method gives you usually kind of a peacock looking painting, of course, depending on what colors you use, but I'm talking just in terms of design. There we go. So we now have an awesome matching set here. So for now, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a close up. All right, we'll go ahead and start with the painting. Super cool. And like I said, this is one of my favorite color schemes um, because it gets you just all kinds of stuff. If you like greens, it gets you greens, teals, turquoises. Like, look at this. Isn't that so cool? There you go. And then here is our vase, which of course it's round, so it's hard to show you the whole thing. But here's the top, and what I'm gonna do is just gently rotate. This takes some skill. <laughs> Yep, so there we go. Super pretty. All right, guys, so uh, stay tuned. In a couple days, we'll come back. I will show you them all dry, and then um, I will 
also show you how I seal that vase. Thanks for watching. I will see y'all next time. Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I painted this vase a bit ago. This is what it looks like all dry. It is super pretty. I love it. Um, the colors do, however, dull when they dry, which is not as exciting. So I'm going to now show you how I seal this. And then um, also it just makes the colors pop. So once again, putting it back on the cup there. Um, I'm going to seal this with resin and I'm using Stone Coat Countertops uh, Countertop Epoxy, which has heat protection, UV protection, and then it also just uh, will protect it if you wanna wash it and whatnot. You do not need a lot. I just put a little bit on the top. It's already pre-mixed. Um, and then the key thing is to make sure that the vase gets 100% covered. I generally like to do this with my hands. You could use a paintbrush or whatever else you want to use. Um, and you can seal it with other things. Absolutely. I used to use the Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel Spray. So you'll see some of my earlier videos where I use that to seal it with. The problem with that is that in some climates, it can get sticky. So it could stick to your shelf or whatever, um, or to other paint, like if you set it on a painted surface. So I switched over to doing all my vases with resin. And also I just think it, it makes them really durable and it just makes it pop. All right, so that is now fully covered. I am gonna torch it to make sure we get any air bubbles out and then we'll come back when it's all dry and I will show you the final product. Plus, uh, when you do resin this way, it does get some drips around the rim. So I'll show you what I do about that as well. Okay, so we're back. This is all dry. So let's see how it looks with the resin. See how nice and shiny that is and how the colors really just pop. Um, you do get these little resin drips doing it this way. So what I do about that is I just take some sandpaper and they are really easy to sand off. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, and there you go. That is all you have to do to it. Now, of course, sanding that does leave these little parts where it's not super shiny here anymore. I would not worry about that. I like to leave a little bit there because it helps it grip to the vase. If you sand it all off, you're going to get a bit of a less of a grip. And it's such a small area, it doesn't matter that it's not all shiny like resin. If you really wanted to, you could probably take just like a dab of resin and put it back on there. I don't feel that need. I feel like it is just perfectly fine without it. Um, so there you go. And this is now fully washable. Uh, it's, you know, you can, I wouldn't put it in a dishwasher, but I don't think anyone puts bases in a dishwasher anyways, because you have like yucky flower crud in there but you can definitely definitely hand wash these and the paint is not going to go anywhere it's going to be extremely durable extremely long lasting it won't stick to anything like your counters or whatever um yeah so this is how i seal my vases currently there are pl plenty of other things that you can i'm sure put on your vases if you have something that you really love to seal your vases with besides resin, let me know down, let me know down in the comments. So if you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.